Members of the Senate Committee on the Niger Delta are here to inspect parts of the 75-kilometer stretch of the Kalaba Itu Road, where reconstruction work is taking place. It goes past the tree, which gives you a quite good state. The entire length of the road where we're intervening is 75. It's back across. So we're intervening in several points across the road. The committee, which commends the venture as ambitious, is however disappointed with the condition of the project for the University of Calabar in Cross River State. Five years ago, and back six years ago. What, what, is, what are they? What is, I don't understand. The land was abandoned by contractors several years ago without achieving much. Same thing with the 15-kilometer Adiabo Eseku Road in Udukpani, local government area of Cross River State, which contractors are accused of completing by only 19%, in spite of the 36% of the contract sum amounting to about 1.56 billion naira released to them. When questioned, the contractor tries to defend himself. If you go beyond the sand field that has been done there eh, for, for, the, for the whole of that spread in the swamp, the sand that has been buried there is more than six, uh, six meter depth of sand in many places. But the Senate committee leader is having none of it. You see, my program with the NDDC is that I don't know what the legal department is doing. Exactly, that's where I'm going. Thank you. And the money we budgeted this year, we're going to oversight that legal department. For every money they spend out of the one point something billion we approve for them. We are going to oversight them. Things look up a bit at the Cross River State University of Science and Technology. Here, all agree that for a hostel that has been abandoned for about 10 years, it's in pretty good condition and only needs some finishing touches to bring it up to standards. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the coming days, the committee is expected to continue with store in other parts of the Niger Delta.